Hello and welcome, my name is Excalibur, and this is Warhammer Vermintide 2. And so the game starts, we are, we are thrown straight into combat, and very little explanation given. Oh, I've been waiting for this. I'm almost impressed, Kruber. Armed and free already. I was just about to help you with that cage. What? Alicia? Yes, it's me. I'm here to help you escape. And with the skitter gate shaking up this place, the time is now. Yeah, all right, but... You were on your way to being sacrificed, so you can thank me. <laughs> now go, find the others. I have work to do. Alicia! Hello? All right then. Well, down's the only way. Oh, I've got a little something for you, Northlander. Nice. So yeah, the game's very quick to teach you how things work and get the game going first. You're gonna pay for my cage treatment, you rotten bastard! Love how the characters are voiced and everything. You ain't the only one who could take big swings, rat scum! The graphics are particularly nice in this one. Everything moves very smoothly and effectively. Well, if that's not a dwarf, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Guess I found my first one. Hey, Zumki! <laughs> Get me out of this thing! Alright, I'm on it, Gorrickson. Won't leave without ya. Special ability, yeah. There goes his head. All of the physics effects as well. Thing that slap and bang into the scenery very nicely. A 
played the first vermin title a little bit, but I haven't really got stuck into it at any point. Well, the more tools, the better. Better get that bow. Now we have a ranged weapon. So it's instant fire. Right. Keep that in mind. Of course, I'd have to actually wind the shot back. Seems like there's a lot going on in the environment, it's very heavily detailed, very nice. Explosive barrels round. Like the little character interactions, I've got a lot of character to each of the individuals in the game. Give that chain a wallet the Right, here goes. And he's not so rough next time, Sunky. You fair crack me head open. <laughs> I'm grateful, bugger, in you. Is that bandages over there? Aye, I'll fetch them. Have to patch you up. Second your sweet time, aren't you? Will do. Let's find the others. Nice little bit of banter going here. Alright. Ready to kill your way out of here? <laughs> Always. Did Alicia help you out? Aye, she did. She set up some kind of portal for us on the surface. One eye is already there. And Sienna? Alicia? So! <laughs> Supplies over there. Better stock up. So you can only carry one type of potion at a time, depending on what effect it is. Probably better not to move that up with only two friends standing on us. If I remember correctly, this does have friendly fire. Visuals are really impressive with this. I love this them. bloody thing, the gate summit. What did the crow call it? The skitter gate. But no time for gawking, Marcus. Move! The skitter gate. But we need less talk and more lifting platform gateways. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. 
Looks like an elevator to me. Well, so far, this definitely beats the cage. But then again, we're going up a bloody high cliff on a scaven contraption. Don't remind me, Azuki. Racky, you got one corps to all peaceful with their own bad weapon. Listen, we're not dying from anything raw by escaping force today, Charlie. Not after this. Uh, can we talk about that? I mean, this. A sodding skittergate. Northlanders and Skaven together. Alicia in my head. And the eternal shame of being filled and caught by a rat. Ah, you're wearing Groomney's name, are we? Doesn't smell like Uber's rank. Darlings, one at a time. What Alicia told me, we have a disaster to deal with. But I think we all had that figured out. And yes. Apparently we're in Helmgart. The remains of Helmgart. The weavers in agony, twisted and torn asunder by corruption. Tall's teeth. Back to normal for us then. Some absolutely fantastic this set design and level construction real? in this game. I mean, look at this! Tall and Sigma save us! This is good that you all made it out. That was a pretty nice start of the game. Very rapid fire tutorial and introduction. No messing around. Now we get to choose a character. So we have Mercenary. Passive ability, Paste Strikes. Hitting three enemies in one swing grants 10% increased attack speed for 6 seconds. Career skill, Morale Boost. Marcus grants nearby allies temporary health and staggers nearby enemies. Ranger Veteran, Bar Bardin Gorksum. Borksum? Borksum? Something like that. Passive ability, Survivalist. Special drop ammo pickups on death. Career skill, disengage, Baradin deploys a smoke bomb that conceals him from enemies while he stays inside the cloud. Waystalker, Kerillion. Passive ability, Amaral. Kerillion regenerates health over time when below half health. Career skill, True Shot Volley. Kerillion shoots a volley of arrows that seek out enemies in her path. Nice. Witch Hunter Captain, Victor Salt Saltspire. Passive ability, Witch Hunt. Tagged enemies take additional damage. Career skill, Animosity. Victor pushes back nearby enemies and boosts nearby allies' critical hit chance for 6 seconds. So he's got some nice buffs rolling there. Battle Wizard, Sienna Fugonasus. Fugonasus? I think so. Passive ability, Tranquility, avoiding damage and not casting spells for 8 seconds automatically ventilates overcharge. So I'm guessing basically by doing nothing for 8 seconds you go into super powered mode. Career skill, Firewalk, Sienna teleports forward leaving a blank as a fire in her wake. Nice. And then we have upgrades to the character types as you get a higher level, very nice. Okay, so Vassal Wizard becomes a Pyromancer, then becomes Unchained. Very wild magic. Witch Hunter Captain becomes a Bounty Hunter. Very cool gun. And then a Zealous. Same melee class, no doubt. Waystalker becomes a Handmaiden. One of the Faithful. And then a Shade Assassin. That might be very cool. Very interesting playing the Shade. Let's see, Ranger Veteran becomes Ironbreaker. One of the most stealth. And then Slayer. Very. 
I love dwarf slayers. Mercenary graduates to Huntsman. Nice long range rifle there. And eventually Foot Knight. The Empire's best. Right, so what should we actually play? I think I'll go with Waystalk because I'm very interested in playing a Shade. Got regenerate health over time, went below half health. And True Shot Volley, shoot a volley of arrows that seeks enemies in our pad. It's probably going to be quite dangerous. Because I'm assuming we've got quite low armor slash health stats compared to some of the other classes, but should be fun. So I'll stop it here for the time being while I get things set up, and I'll see you soon.